Rip Hamilton's going to have his number oh. retired tonight. But one thing, one criticism I have, he apparently is completely uncoachable because Jay Will told him to hit the rim. And he did. He did not. He didn't even touch the rim. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's because he just has to have the right coach in his ear. And uh, maybe we'll see about that. What a legendary career Rip Hamilton has had. Played for UConn from 96 to 99. Scored more than 2,000 points twice. Big East Player of the Year and the most outstanding player in UConn's first men's national championship in 99. And Jim Calhoun, Rip Hamilton with Christine Williams. Yes, they are. Uh, I mean, that shot. <laughs> was absolutely poetic. You said you were cold. Uh, yeah. Hadn't touched the ball at all today. That was the first time he touched the ball. Coach, are you at all surprised that he was able to knock that one down? Well, it's called rip buckets. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make him a point guard. Then I realized I got a little smart. He could do that pretty well, by the way. Uh, like about 2,000 points. Uh-huh, uh-huh. World <laughs> Championship, NCAA Championship Special. And you know what the greatest thing about it? And I think Two of the guys over there, Seth, would agree. Two Duke guys had to watch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah That's yeah, the best part. Yeah, That's the best yeah, part about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rick, obviously, you're getting your number retired tonight. It's going to be a huge moment for you. Obviously, the UConn fans very excited that they get to celebrate with you. But what was the moment like when you found out that you were getting your number retired? You know what? It was very special for me when I got the call because when I first came here, Coach promised me a lot of things, right? He said, hey, you know what? When you come here, you got an opportunity to win, Big East, uh, win, win the Big East. You got a chance to win Big East Player of the Year. You got a chance to win a national championship. But he never said, hey, you want to one day get your jersey retired. So, Coach, you made a lot of promises. He believed in me. The expectations for me from him was to try to lead this team to win his first th national championship. Yeah. And I got an opportunity to do that. And coach, uh, you talk about how he's one of your favorite players all time. You guys are closer now than you were even when he played. How special is it that you get to celebrate this moment with him? Well, it's incredible. You know, he's a special guy. And I told him that I took him for granted in some ways because except for being late, which <laughs> I is. beat you to the gym today, though, coach. <laughs> you did. OK, gotcha. All right. <laughs> Last night, you were only an hour late for dinner, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> But beyond that, he made buckets, was a great leader, and just played basketball. He helped bring us together, and for all the great Husky fans, the guy, the guy who finally, after uh -huh. a lot of close ones, yeah. kicked that door in for the championship, yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yes. And there are so many iconic moments, even before the championship, that 98 buzzer beater in the Sweet 16, but I do want to ask you what your favorite moment here at UConn was. My favorite moment at UConn was sharing that moment that you're talking about uh -huh. with my great teammates. Because there's no way I get my jersey retired without Khalid Elamine, Ricky Moore, Kevin Freeman, Jake Bosco, all the way down to EJ Harrison. Like the staff, I mean, Carl Hobbs, Coach Moore, and the man, the godfather, right? The last time <laughs> I left this, le last time we left this court, uh -huh. we were number one team in the country. Yeah. So now we're back and we're still number, number one, one team in the country. <laughs> number one and right that's now. all because of Coach Calhoun and the foundation that he built at, in the state of Connecticut. So I'm excited to be a part of that. Yeah, it's, it's really great. What were you going to say, Coach? He'll give you one idea of what he felt when he first got here after our first night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did miss it. You mentioned that he's very laid back, but he was on time today. You said he might not get here at 1030. He did get here on yes, 1030 yes, today. Yes. Uh, so obviously your jersey is going in the rafters today. So you would probably, a lot of these UConn fans, I would imagine, would have you as one of their top five players. But can oh. you give us your top five players all time at UConn? Uh, so you're going to put the pressure on yeah, me, Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, yeah, I never put that pressure on Coach. No. I but I understand pressure. that you're not not a yeah. guy that takes a lot of pressure. Exactly. It's just, no right. pressure. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. No pressure. You're Mr. Am, I, am I included? Yeah, you can. I mean, it depends if you agree with that. Oh, yeah, I do agree. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. So, right, cool. <laughs> but, uh, five. If I had to put my top five, I would have to go number, I have to go Danielle Marshall. Okay. Danielle Marshall is the reason why I started watching UConn basketball. Then I got to go with my big bro, Ray Allen. I mean, everybody knows Ray. Ray did so many special things here on campus. Then I got to go with Omeka Okafor. He was the one guy that was the only guy that won player of the year. So you got to give him credit. A lot of times the bigs don't get as much credit, so you got to give him credit too. And then you got to go with Kimba. What he did in the NCAA tournament under Coach Calhoun, it was magical. What it was, a 10, 11 games straight in a row that he won? So uh, there's a lot of other great guys. You can go Chris Smith, all-time leading scorer. 
Karan Butler, Rudy Gay. There's so many great players, but you put the pressure on me. I got to go with them guys right there. You forgot yourself. You didn't mention yourself, right? I don't like mentioning them myself. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, we like it. Reese, you agree with that list? You agree, right, Coach? With Solid list. question. And by the way, he put himself first. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Reese. <laughs> He's back to you guys.